Hi, welcome to Easy Engineering. When it comes to choosing a compressed air, air saving nozzle, you want to make sure that the nozzle that you choose, that the connection on the nozzle is the same size or smaller than the line feeding the nozzle. And I'll tell you why. When compressed air saving nozzles are tested, they're tested to give you a certain force and a flow rating at a particular pressure that enters that nozzle. So, for example, if uh, this uh, quarter inch nozzle that I have in my hand, it's rated for a certain force and a certain flow at a certain pressure entering that nozzle. So if it's 80 PSI entering the nozzle, it's going to be a certain flow and a certain force that's created. When you're choosing a nozzle for a particular application, usually what's most important is the force of that nozzle hitting that target. So let's say you have a 1 8 inch line and you're looking through a list of nozzles and you see a quarter inch nozzle that gives you a very high force and you see a 1 8 inch nozzle and it gives you a lower force. Uh, because the lower force, uh, because well, first of all, the nozzle that's 1 8 inch uh, NPT or BSP inlet is going to use probably a lot less flow, which means a lot less force. So you get the quarter inch nozzle and you get the 1 8 inch nozzle and you hook it up to your 1 8 inch line. When you test the quarter inch nozzle on the 1 8 inch line, you're going to only get uh, a certain amount of force going through that nozzle because that 1 8 inch line is going to be trying to force through the flow that that nozzle needs. But because it's a 1 8 inch line, you're going to have a lot of pressure drop in that line. So what happens is, instead of getting, say, 80 pounds pressure at that nozzle, you might only get 60 pounds pressure. Then when you hook up the 1 8 inch nozzle, even though on the specifications it shows less of a force, uh, at a certain pressure, you're going to have that 80 pounds pressure at that, uh, at that point of that nozzle entry because you have a 1 8 inch line, because you're putting less flow through, so you have less pressure drop. So that 1 8 inch nozzle can actually be giving you a higher force than that quarter inch nozzle, just because the quarter inch nozzle is trying to draw more flow through it. So typically for the easiest engineering solution is try to choose a nozzle for your application that's going to be the same size as the uh, line uh, feeding that particular nozzle. Now, on the other hand, if you have a quarter inch line and you put a quarter inch nozzle, you can also put a smaller nozzle in there, one eighth inch nozzle, which uses less flow, and you can use that. But more than likely, you're going to have less flow out of that uh, one eighth inch nozzle than you are over uh, the one quarter inch nozzle. So, for testing and selecting the best air nozzle, for your application. The air nozzle should be sized for the particular line uh, that you are uh, dealing with normally.